Hi, I'm Brendan Donaldson, and today I want to cover visually editing the logic on the AIY Vision Kit. And what I want to do is show you how you can edit the Python logic for the kit in a visual editor and using the desktop version. So what I first have or what I have first here is an HDMI and it's a, the middle of the line or middle connector which is the micro HDMI not the mini uh, not the big full size but micro and then it goes to my monitor and on this monitor on mine I also have a DVI connector and then a female to female adapter so I could connect the HDMI to the DVI adapter. Now I'll include all these things that I've bought for this session in the video description below and you can link to figure out what, what you could buy if you don't know. So then I also have a dongle here which is a micro USB and this micro USB then goes to a wireless transmitter for my keyboard and mouse. And so I have a simple keyboard and mouse that is, that is wireless that I can connect to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so to get started then, I can move to the desktop and show you how I edit the, the Python logic on my AIY Vision Kit. What I found was is there is a quick shortcut to get to the logic right away. So I'm going to open up the terminal and I'll show a couple different ways to get to editing the Python logic. So I'm going to go to the to the terminal, the shortcut here, and I'm going to open it. You can right click on it and click on open or you can double click and I'm going to double click on it. At first the double click speed was too slow and so what I found was is I went up and edited the preferences. So if I go up to the Raspberry Pi button and then go to the preferences and then there's a keyboard mouse and you can control the double click speed. And so once I have the, the terminal open I'm going to go back to that and then I'm going to navigate to the directory I want. Now I'm going to show a little bit of terminal here just so I can show a quick shortcut to how, how you can open up the file manager. And so what I want to do is ls for list directory contents. And then I want to go to um, the source directory. So I'm going to go cd for change directory into the source directory and then do an ls again for list con contents. And then I'm looking for the examples directory. So I'm going to go cd examples. And this is as far as I'm going to go in the terminal. Now I want to open up the file manager so I can do a visual inspection of the files within examples. So I'm going to go open, well, not open, xdg hyphen open. And I'm going to put a period for this directory to open. You could path to a directory right from here that's deeper in a, the nested tree of uh, file management. But in this case, I just want to open up this directory. So it immediately opens up the uh, file manager. So let me make this window a little bit bigger so we can inspect the files and contents in that directory. So in here, there's several examples. And what I'm going to go to is the GPIO0. Now I've created an example for this tutorial and I'll leave the link for the contents to that example um, in the link below uh, in the video description. So I'm going to go to GPI0 and then I've got uh, what I've created as LEDs underscore example and that's the content that I've created for this for this tutorial. What I, so I double clicked on it and what will happen is it'll bring up a dialog and say do you want to run this or do you want to open this up in an editor? So it takes a moment to load and you can see the, the processing speed up at the top right and maybe it's left by the time you're looking at it but it's 100%, so you can see it's really chewing on something, and it'll slow down, there it goes back to 29, 30%. Okay, so it opened this up, uh, opened up the code in the Python editor, and let me go back to the file manager and just show you. Uh, I clicked on the wrong directory, so I'm gonna go to GPIO0, and then I'm gonna right click on, on the file, and there's Thani simple mode, and then there's Thani Python IDE. And another way to visually edit it in such a way is using Vim. And I won't cover that in this tutorial today, but I'll go back to the Thani Python editor, which is opened up by default. Um, and here we go. So in this case, I've already got the file opened. And it's possible that it went right to the file if I didn't set executable permissions. Now, if the file has executable permissions on it, which is like cmod plus x, it will actually ask you if it wants to execute the file versus 
open the file. Now let me show you that just before I get carried away here. I'm going to go to another example that came with the source. Now I'm going to look at the button bonnet. I'm going to double click on that and here we go. It wants to execute the file or open it. It, get, it gives me a choice. So I'm going to click on open and then I'll have two files here. Now it takes a little bit for this because it's a little bit uh, it takes some horsepower to open up this editor and run it. But it's not bad. It makes it quite easy to actually edit the file, debug it, and run it. And so once it opens up, so what I want to do is go up, right click on the CPU settings. I'm going to go CPU usage monitor settings. I'm going to click on, click on that. And what I want to do is change the foreground to red, let's say. So I'm going to get it to red. And let's see here. Uh, I got to move this circle, it looks like. There we go. And then I'm going to hit OK. And so then I'm going to hit OK again. And now I can see the CPU colors in red. It gives me a little bit more identification on how much the CPU is chewing on what I'm doing. OK, so what over here on the left, or in the middle now, on the top, on the top window is the code. So I could edit that. And then on the bottom window is the shell output or the results when I run the code. So I'm going to go back to my example. It's a simple code. It just imports time and some AIY LED, which the LED, this is called LEDs uh, in the documentation. It's not a LED that has a general purpose input output pin. It's LEDs because it comes from the Vision Bonnet board. Now the example that I copied here is actually code written in the source. Now if you find the LEDs. PY, you look in the comments and you find that same source that I have here. So I can't take credit for this source, but I can take credit for making this video possibly. Uh, but anyways, going moving on along, I'm going to run this code by simply going up and executing it with the green button with the arrow here that says run current script. So this is pretty slick. So you can see it's running. And if you can see this, if it's not blown out in my video, it's turning red every second and then turning off a second. Oh, it looks like it terminated. Um, let me run that again. So it did, let me execute this, the script again. Okay, there we go. Now it's on, back, turning on and off. Okay, so what I wanna do is terminate the script and I'm gonna terminate and interrupt it that's called interrupt and reset. And let me make an error in this time and then execute it. Then you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna add a semicolon. Let's say I, I come from JavaScript and I add that line termination and then let me run it and see what happens here. It should, caught. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't mind a semicolon. I thought it would. Um, in this case, it probably has some other literal meaning in the code. And I'm not the best at Python yet, but um, let me just change, let me, actually forget the semicolon and you can see the Thonny editor actually highlights the syntax error which is kind of nice but let me try to execute the broken code and so oh it says syntax error invalid syntax so I'm going to go ahead and click on the link that it, it provides in the shell output and it should take me right to the beginning of the character problem and it does so let me just fix that and I'm going to create a problem and a method call this time, and then I'm going to try to execute it and see what happens. And we'll just give you a little bit more familiarity with how that will respond to, to the code. Oh, and it shows me there's a problem. It says attribute, attribute error, type object LEDs has no attribute RG off. Okay, so that's good. So let me click on it. It highlights the line when I click on it. Okay, so then I can just go, I'm gonna go Control Z and it returns to the original form. I can save it with Control S and then I can run and execute the script again. And there we go. What if I wanted to change the color? Let's just try a different color for fun here. While we're on the video, so let me just go blue and I'll save it and then run and execute the script. Okay, there it goes, it's blinking blue. So. Um, what the script is doing, let me just describe it real quick. Okay, so we instantiate LEDs with the LEDs, which is another class that's in the library that's available. And then we're doing an iteration of a range of four. And then we're saying, okay, LEDs, let's turn it on and blue on for a second, and then off, and then wait for a second. 
So it's pretty simple iteration pattern here. So let me just say a range of, of, of two and see what happens here. And that's, pro and that's why every time I look back, it's done. So I could increase the range. So there, it, it iterated twice. Now if I increase the range to let's say 50, I, it will loop. I made a syntax error there. Let's go 50. I got the wrong position in the script when I was looking away. So let me just execute this code and it should basically go on and on and on. And that's just, uh, that's just an example of how you can increase the iteration, uh, which is nice with Python because they have some nice syntactic sugar there. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Uh, that's basically all there is in this episode. I wanted to show you how simple it is to edit the Python logic for the AIY Vision Kit. And this will work for the Voice Kit too, or it, but for that matter, any Debian flavor of Raspberry Pi that comes with Thani ready to go to edit. Of course, there's other editors out there that you can use. And I'm not going to cover those today, but as things progress on, I'll cover some of the other ways to edit in some of the other episodes in the future. Okay, so that concludes this episode today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep your eyes peeled because I'll be releasing more videos in the future on the AIY Vision Kit. And um, if you like it, that'll help fuel the engine for more tutorials in the future. So thanks for watching today. Catch me for more tips and tricks in the future and I'll see you in the next episode.